Okay, creating and working with Cisco Spark Teams. This is part two, and let's get started. So teams really represent any group of people that work together on a particular project or on several projects. Uh, I would say teams help you keep everything organized by putting multiple spaces under a common theme. Okay, we're going to go over spaces later, and this concept will be uh, further defined in part three. You will most definitely be part of several teams. As the company grows and you start using Spark more and more, most definitely you'll start being added to more and more teams. I can kind of equate it to, you know, being part of, I don't know, an email group or an alias. Most likely in your company, you're part of more than one email alias. So you can kind of think of it as that for now. Anybody can create a team. It's not just for the IT admins only or anything like that. Basically, anybody with a Spark account in the organization create can create a team. It's like creating a project. Anybody can create a project or maybe creating a, an email group or an email alias or something like that. Now, in my opinion, you should really give some thought around how your company is going to create teams. It can kind of get out of hand. Again, in my opinion, you should have some policies around how, why, naming conventions of teams, things like that. So you can kind of keep your teams well organized. One example would be, you know, if somebody creates a marketing team and then someone else the same day creates a U.S. marketing team and then someone else creates a marketing-U.S. team, you can see how that can kind of get out of hand and, and people will get confused on what team am I supposed to go into or uh, post to or participate in, things like that. So I'm not getting a good definition of that, but you'll kind of get the gist of this as you go on. And if you start using Spark, you'll definitely run into some of this as well. So let's head over to the whiteboard so I can give you a kind of a visual of what teams and spaces look like. We're not going to get too into spaces right now but I want to give you a visual of what this stuff looks like so teams let me write teams teams is kind of member equals people right so people like person one person two person three can be on a team and then under teams there's team spaces what we call team spaces again we'll talk about more later but I just want to give you the visual here's a space one and maybe there's a space two and so they have this team up here of these folks up here and these folks can participate in those spaces down there okay they can view the space they can join the space they can leave the space and things like that so that's really all I want to tell you for now just get the just that spaces are under teams and there's some other different spaces that we'll talk about as well but that's the one I want you to think of now so let's head back over uh, to our desktop and let's take a look at how to create teams and what features are available so here's my spark client and I'm on my teams icon here I can see I have several teams available to me now um, let's just create a new team let's create it I don't know what maybe we have some um, organizational policies that say everything in the US starts with US and I'm creating a marketing team all right and I'll just say everything everything marketing all righty so we've created our team let's go into our team and let's add a team member remember if I go right here, click on team members, I'm the only member. Remember, teams consist of people. And right now, I'm the only person in this team. Now, you can see I'm a moderator. I'll show you more about that in a second. But let's add a team member. So I can add a team member right here. And let's add Elizabeth. We can add Elizabeth there. And now you can see if I right mouse click Elizabeth, I can make her a moderator of the team too. Remember, moderators have special rights. They can add people to the team. They can remove people from the team, things like that. So I'm going to remove her um, from the team real quick. Um, and I'm going to add her as a moderator over here. Now I could have upgraded her 
to a moderator there but I just want to show you that you can do it this way as well and then if I add her there she's definitely added to the team so she's a team member and she automatically gets added as a moderator okay so let's remove her again move moderator for the team now she's still a member of the team okay and now I'll remove her from the team altogether okay so now she's gone and let's say that we've had some some projects under it in the spaces and we're done with this team we're done with all the projects that we've organized under this team and we want to archive this team so we can click on this icon right down here and we can click archive and we can kind of kind of put it away we archive it if we go back to our team menu uh, I can hide all the archive teams there so I can kind of clean up my team panel and just look at um, my particular teams that I'm a part of right now I can also show my archive teams and if I want to bring back to life this particular team maybe there's a project that we are going uh, uh, that's happening under in inside the US marketing team and I want to revive it bring it back to life and make active again and you can see then I can go into my uh, team again as well now I just want to show you that I'm the only team member here. Let's add somebody else before I do this. Let's add let's add Elizabeth. Okay, we'll add that. Now we have someone in our team, or they have a team member. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to try to leave the team. Now, notice I'm the moderator, so see what happens if I leave the team. Well, I can't do that because I'm the only moderator of the team. Now I can uh, remove Elizabeth from the team and now I can leave the team if I leave the team this team is going to go bye-bye it's gonna go uh, it's gonna go away so I won't be able to get that that back but I can also if I can add a team uh, moderator let's add Liz again and uh, then I'm gonna leave the team okay we have two moderators now I can I can leave the team leave this team or remove from all spaces okay yeah I wanna leave that team Okay, so if I go back up here, I'm no longer part of that team. I can't revive that team. I can't get that team back. However, remember there was another moderator, which was, remember, it was Elizabeth Swan. Okay, so let's go to her team. And you can see that that team is still there. And she's the only member. And maybe she wanted to add me back. All right. Um, I had left the team and... Um, I'm not a moderator anymore. I left the team. Now uh, she wants to add me back because I'm going to be part of that part of that team again. Okay, there we go. We can add Jack back. We can even upgrade him to a moderator. All right, and let's go back to Jack over here, and you can see he's got that team back again, and he's part of um, the moderation. He's moderator of that team. So let's remove Elizabeth now. Now she's gone, and I'm going to just remove her from the team completely. Okay, now I'm the only one in the team. Now if I leave the team this time, that's it. It's gone and never to be revived again. I can go back here, and you can see it's gone. And if I go over here to... That is gone from... Elizabeth Swan's team menu as well. Well, hopefully this has been informative to you and thanks for watching.